This is RegistredNurseRN.com, and today we're going to look at the question, nursing school or medical school? That's the age-old question for any student considering a career in healthcare, right? Nursing school or medical school? Well, both have pros and both have cons. There are great things about being a nurse, and there are terrible things about being a nurse. Likewise, there are wonderful things about being a doctor and terrible things about being a doctor. And while we may be a little biased towards nursing, because after all, this is a nursing website, we will lay out some considerations of both becoming a doctor or a nurse. Now, before we get started, let's also make the brief point that even if you decide to become a doctor after becoming a nurse, you can still do so, although you may have to take a few more prerequisites before you begin medical school. Also, this article does not consider the idea of becoming a nurse practitioner which is a pretty good compromise between being just an RN nurse and a doctor. It's kind of an in-between, both with salary and some of the job duties that you have. Okay, So that's something you want to keep in mind also as you're considering what you want to do with your career. Now, here are some of the cost and length of time of school with considerations of both professions. With registered nursing, you can become a licensed registered nurse make a full-time registered nurse salary in as little as two years with an ADN degree. Yeah, that's just two years. That's pretty awesome. Now, to become a doctor, you're going to have to get an undergraduate degree first, but that's about four years, okay? And then you have to go to medical school, which is about four more years. And graduate school is quite expensive, so that's something you definitely have to consider. So for school, you get eight years to be a doctor versus two years to be a nurse. That's a pretty big difference, both with cost and time. If you, went to nur if, if you went nursing, you could have worked six more years than a doctor at when he, graduate, he or she graduates, and you can make a salary and have no fees in medical school as a nurse. So let's assume you earn the median RN salary as of 2012, which is $64,690 times six years that you won't have to spend in medical school. That's $388,140 you would have earned in that time. That's a pretty, pretty good amount of money. In contrast... The new graduate doctor will likely have earned little to no income, plus would have accrued six years of very expensive schooling, more than a nurse would, and they may graduate with a hundred to one hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of debt. So, in the same period of time, a nurse will have approximately four hundred eighty-eight thousand one hundred forty dollars more than a doctor when you consider the ex the debt that a doctor would graduate with, and versus the salary that a nurse will owe over that time. So. The median debt of graduating medical school in 2010 was $150,000, so that's very costly, and the length of time you have to go is really something you want to consider. As far as a career outlook and salary, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the outlook for both nursing and physicians slash surgeons are very good. Nursing is expected to grow 26% between 2010 and 2020. It's one of the fastest growing professions while physicians and surgeons are expected to grow about 24%. So there is a slightly higher demand for nurses, but both do have a very good outlook. And while nurses do earn a very good competitive salary, usually, like I said before, a median salary of 64690 doctors do win on the salary, bringing in an impressive median salary of 166400 per year. So even though nurses get a great jump on the salary and they'll save a bundle on medical school, Doctors can pull in such an impressive amount that they're probably going to catch up with the nurse in just a few years' time, or perhaps a decade at most. As far as the job overview in comparison, here's where nurses probably have a little bit easier. Nurses are not usually as busy as doctors. Doctors will likely log a lot more hours, be on call for more often, and also have far more paperwork and responsibility than a nurse. In fact, most doctors that my wife works with are very, very busy all the time. Nurses, on the other hand, tend to have a little more flexibility on the job. They can work 12-hour shifts, get a full-time work done in three days. They usually aren't on call nearly as often on their off days. They deal with a lot less bureaucracy on the job. And plus, some doctors have to pay very hefty malpractice and liability insurance, whereas nurses, they usually don't have that much liability exposure. And even if they do pay for insurance, it's usually very, very inexpensive. So, yeah, nursing can be very stressful or tiring at times. You can have rude patients. You can have to clean up various bodily fluids and so forth. But at the end of the day, you can clock out and you can forget about it. No pagers or texts will be sending you back to the job in most cases. 
Doctors, on the other hand, don't deal with actual patients as often as nurses do. And unless they're a surgeon, they're a little bit more hands-off with many of the specialties. But again, they're probably going to be on call more and they're going to have a lot more, um, a little bit more responsibilities. So in conclusion, what's the better option, nursing school or medical school? Well, the answer is it depends. Fortunately, both are wonderful careers. We live in a world where both are needed desperately. I know I can't imagine a world with no doctors and just all nurses or all nurses and no doctors. We need both. You can become a nurse much faster. You can earn a great salary. You can enjoy a wide range of specialties, high demand in your career, and deal with a lot less liability and frustrations than a doctor will face. And since we love nurses, we'd strongly encourage you to become a nurse. I think that it's a great option and you should definitely consider it. After all, you can always go back for your nurse practitioner and earn even more. Or if you just really are dying to become a doctor, you can still go back to medical school after you get your RN degree, if you decide to go that route. So nursing's almost foolproof in that regard. On the other hand, nurses won't make as much money as doctors over their entire career. Doctors are held in very high esteem in our society. And being a doctor is certainly a wonderful career ch achievement as well. So the better question is, what's most appealing to you? Do you want less responsibility, less schooling, and you still earn a competitive salary with plenty of opportunities to advance your career, and you can even still go back to school as a fallback? Well, then if so, then I'd recommend you go to nursing school. If you want to reach for the stars, if you're prepared to be in school for eight years, you want to take on potential debt for your schooling, but at the end get a great reward of a very high salary and a prestigious career, then shoot for a medical degree. And if you decide to go against our logic and become an MD, just remember to be kind to nurses. This is RegisteredNurseRN.com. We ask that you check by, stop by our website and check out all that we have there. You might want to bookmark our website. We have a lot of great resources for nursing students, current nurses, and anyone interested in becoming a nurse. You can also subscribe to our YouTube videos. We'll be putting out some more videos in the upcoming weeks. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.